Today's video is going to be about hearing loss and lo LOUD NOISES! For our whole lives, we've been told by our parents and everyone else that if we listen to our Jimmy Jams music too loud, we'll lose our hearing. But is that even true? Misinformation. Hey y'all, welcome to Misinformation, the show that fills you in on all the info you might have missed. First things first, a shout out to Laura Valencia for suggesting this video topic. If there's a topic with info you think you might have missed, please suggest it in the comments below. Okay, so the main question we're asking is this. Will listening to loud music on a frequent basis actually result in hearing loss? To answer this question, we have to look at how and why hearing loss occurs. According to the Nemours Foundation, or the Nemours, Nemours? Nemours? I don't know. According to the Nemours Foundation, which is a medical nonprofit dedicated to children's health, hearing loss can be both temporary and permanent, but the causes for each are often the same. If you have ever worked on or been near a construction site, or if you just go to concerts, then you probably have experienced hearing loss. The basic rule of thumb for whether or not certain volumes of noise are harmful is that if you need to shout to be heard, then there is probably damage being done to your inner ear parts. But for the most part, visiting a construction site or going to a concert here and there without any earplugs or without a headset is probably only going to result in temporary hearing loss. You'll gain your hearing back in a day or two. But any noise at these high volumes will cause permanent ear damage if you are frequently experiencing them. And this is why construction site workers wear those protective headsets and why avid concert goers bring their own earplugs. This all seems really obvious, but what about when it comes to jamming out on your headphones? And why exactly does hearing loss happen? Well, the short answer to my first question is yes, you are probably causing permanent damage if you're listening to loud music on your headphones all the time. This is because the noise vibrations coming out of your earbuds are going directly into your fun little ear parts. So as opposed to noise having to travel through space and into your ear, your cochlea or inner ear has a front row seat to all the noise you want to throw at it. These unobstructed close-up vibrations will cause hearing damage if you're listening listening to music too loudly. I personally can attest to this as someone who listened to all my music at the highest possible volume in high school. At the time, I was cranking the volume level to match my angst level, but now I crank the volume level because I, because I can't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> but enough of that. So what? Your parents are right about these things. They often are. I mean, let's face it, the boomers basically invented rock music, so they should be the authority on what happens to your ears when you listen to loud music for decades. I can't hear you. <sighs> but why and how does hearing loss actually happen? Loud music is not an explanation. To understand how high volume sounds can harm our ear innards, we gotta look at the thing us mammals are always concerned with, hair. No, 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 no! The average cochlea of a human being contains many hair cells, around 16, thousand itty bitty hairs. These hair cells are what detect noise vibrations for your brain and boy are they tiny. Look at them, they're so cute. The way these itty bitty hair cells work is actually really cool. If you leave a loud concert, you'll notice that you generally can't hear whispers and maybe even your own voice sounds distant. But by the time you wake up the next morning, your hearing is usually fine again. And this is because those tons of little hearts behave really similarly to blades of grass on a windy day. What I mean by this is that the hair cells will literally bend as if they're getting blown over by high volumes in the same way that grass bends on a windy day. It's actually been possible to isolate one of these hair cells, so let's see what it does when we play it some music. You might recognize the tune. <laughs> Then the concert ends, you go home, you sleep, your little ear hairs stand up in the night, and then you can hear normally in the morning. But keeping with this grass analogy, your ear hairs are not impervious. Grass and other plants will be damaged and possibly even uprooted if there is too much strong wind. In this same way, your cochlea's hair cells can be permanently damaged and die. This can sometimes happen because one loud noise is way too loud, but it more frequently happens from repeated exposure to loud noises. So it's important that you don't jam too loud too frequently, or that you bring earplugs if you're a frequent concert goer. 
So now we know that all it takes to damage your ears is loud noise, especially frequent loud noise, but how can you actually tell if you're doing damage to your ears? Unfortunately, this is a really tricky problem. Human bodies are really resilient. We're built to tough it out. All of our evolutionary developments came about to improve our ability to survive. So it's really no surprise that we actually are built to take on a certain amount of damage without even noticing. One of the ways in which this is true is with our ears. You can actually lose 30 to 50% of your ear's 16,000 hair cells before anyone would even notice. This is what the CDC calls hidden hearing loss, and it's why we should be careful about subjecting ourselves to high volume sounds without protection. If you can lose half of your ability to hear before it can be detected on a hearing test, which you can, then by the time a doctor notices the problem, you will already have done significant and permanent damage to your hearing. And I'm not even going to talk about how we can damage the nerves and membranes in our inner ears because the hair thing is scary enough already. I wish I had better news, but the truth is it's actually very easy to harm your hearing. So if anyone laughs at you for bringing earplugs to a show, just know they won't be laughing a decade from now because they won't be able to hear your jokes. I can't hear you. And that's the info about how loud noises affect your ear holes.